Um, well, hello everyone. Um, my name is Jada Um I'm a lecturer um, in modern Middle Eastern history in the department, the Department of History, um, and also the convener uh, for the MA uh, History uh, program, as well as the MA History and Intensive Language uh, program um, here at uh, SOAS. And I welcome you um, uh, all, I uh, have a very small group, but I'm, I'm, uh, I'm really delighted to see you in this virtual um, information um, session. Um, you can see in the background, my, this is my bookshelf in, in my office, but I'm not there at the moment. Um, so it's, um, it's an all round virtual uh, session, I think, for, for everyone. I'm here, I'm here. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, yes. So we have, we have um, campus representation, yes. um, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, so, I mean, if, if you feel like, do type in um, where you're joining from, um, the, the city that you're in, it would be nice to see, um, see that flow um, on, on, the, on the side. Um, so, I mean, what I have uh, in mind today, um, what I plan to do today is uh, to, um, uh, well, briefly to introduce you to, to, to SOAS, to say a few things about what we do here um, in the department and in also in the program and also in, in at SOAS in general. Um, and what we do differently, uh, which is which is also an important thing that, that you know might be interesting for you to to uh, to hear. Um, so after that, um, uh, I will talk a little bit about more detailed information on the program itself um, and um, the structure and module options. Some of which are fairly new, so um, they're not reflected on the website yet, and I will uh, point those um, uh, things out. And um, it, overall, um, I will try to um, uh, give or provide you a glimpse of what it is like uh, to study history at the um, at the postgraduate level um, here um, at at SOAS with my presentation. And after the uh, presentation, we'll have, I think, um, ample amount of time uh, to go over your questions about the program, about um, SOAS, so on and so forth. But that said, I mean, if, if you have any specific questions as I go along, please feel free to just type in the question. If I notice it was as I as I you know continue with my presentation, I can just stop and respond. But in the worst case scenario, I will just go back and read your questions and go over them uh, in the uh, Q and A um, session. But before I move on to my presentation, um, uh, we have with us um, uh, today uh, two of my uh, department colleagues. Um, Lars Lahman and uh, Mike Charney, who would also like to say hi uh, to you. So maybe we can go um, um, over to you um, uh, with, with your um, uh, introductions, and then I can uh, continue with my uh, presentation. Um, Lars, would you like to go first? Uh, okay. Um, well, <clears throat> welcome to SOAS. Um, my name is um, uh, Lars Peter Lahman. I'm a uh, uh, I've been here at SOAS for some time, and I specialize in uh, uh, East Asian, especially Chinese, and Central Asian, um, especially Mongolian Manchu um, uh, studies. And um, the history that you'll be learning with me is um, very much, um, it interacts with the, the, um, with the neighboring areas. I, I tend to concentrate on um, in my own research on uh, medicine and popular religion and um, uh, find that there are many interfaces that uh, also apply to neighboring uh, areas and that are being taught here at SOAS. That's it for the time being. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Uh, Mike? Hi, I'm uh, Mike Cherney. I teach uh, a, a little uh, a little widely. Uh, I'm interested in Southeast Asia and, uh, and West Africa, but I tend to handle Asia as a whole. 
Uh, the uh, um, some of the thematic areas I teach are violence and, and urban history, uh, but also military histories. Because uh, technically, I'm a military historian, but I would say it's more along the lines of warfare and, and conflict. Um, I'm particularly interested in uh, in decolonizing history now. Um, in addition to uh, to being a historian uh, for my for my work, I also engage in a lot of politics involving the uh, the non Western world. Uh, in my daily life, particularly with the uh, with the Rohingya, Myanmar, and politics in Southeast Asia. Great, excellent. Thank you very much. Um, so, I mean, I guess um, um, I can say a few things about my own research as well, since 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 we have time. Um, I, I, as I said, I am a lecturer um, uh, in modern Middle Eastern history with a focus on the Ottoman Empire. And I, I work largely on slavery and ideas and practices of freedom, how it was understood and, and practiced, and sometimes abused by, um, by the Ottoman state um, and um, Ottoman um, uh, public in general. Um, so, I mean, like that said, I guess I can just move on to my uh, uh, brief presentation. And for that, um, let me share my screen. Um, Um, quickly and let me. Um, okay. Um, can everyone see my shared screen, the presentation, all right? Okay, excellent. Okay, um, so um, just really briefly a, um, a historical overview of, of uh, SOAS and, and, and the history department, SOAS. As you may already know, uh, going through the website, uh, perhaps, um, SOAS was founded in 1916. Um, uh, this is um, in a rather historic um, uh, moment um, in itself, in the middle of the First World War. Um, it, uh, it, you know, it was referred to as the Great War uh, back then. Um, it was founded as a, a graduate level teaching and especially research um, institution. Uh, its original name was um, a School of uh, Oriental Studies, um, SOS, not SOAS, um, at the beginning. And um, the um, A, Africa, was added to its title about two decades later in um, 1935. So um, initially um, it was uh, primarily um, um, to train the uh, colonial officers, uh, the British Empire, uh, that was its initial primary aim um, at the time, uh, but that aim was um, rather um, uh, quickly dismantled uh, by uh, SOAS scholars themselves um, within within a dec within a couple of decades. So SOAS uh, historians, uh, particularly. Um, began to emphasize as early as uh, uh, 1950s um, the importance of studying the history of Asian and African countries from their own perspective um, in their own terms and not through the framework of imperial history, imperial learning. So that is uh, something um, uh, that still very much shapes um, how we do things um, at SOAS, at, at the department specifically. And it is in this context that uh, SOAS history uh, um, and SOAS historians have been pioneers um, in its quest to look at and focus on different uh, parts of the world um, uh, from their own uh, perspective. Um, so, I mean, this is also, as I said, I mean, this continues to shape um, our what we do um, uh, here at SOAS, and it's also what makes us unique um, in, and special as a history department, um, too. Um, SOAS is the only um, history department in Britain, and I mean, it wouldn't be an exaggeration to say that in, in, in the world, uh, too, with the exception, of course, of the higher education institutions, um, in these respective regions that teaches history from the perspective of Asia, Africa, and the Middle East, meaning that uh, we, um, um, that in many other uh, history departments in the UK or in the US, um, um, 
you would have the majority of uh, academic staff focusing on uh, European history, British history, American history, Atlantic history at best, um, and you would have a smaller group of, um, of academics um, working on the other uh, uh, parts of the world. And we, uh, in, in our case, it's quite uh, the contrary. We all deal with European or global history in our um, own ways, but uh, the, the center is always um, uh, placed in the uh, regions that we, um, that we work on. Um, and I mean, the, the, accordingly, the department um, has the um, highest concentration of um, specialists working in these regions. And um, SOAS's research facilities um, match and correspond uh, with that concentration um, as well. Uh, um, the, the, you can see in the background here, um, SOAS's library um, is one of the world's uh, leading academic libraries for the study of Asia, Africa, and the Middle East. And um, when you think about this, in combination with the surrounding libraries um, that um, we have, most notably the Senate House Library right next building uh, from, from, from SOAS, which is the central library of University of London, which uh, SOAS students can, um, can use uh, freely, um, which covers pretty much everything that SOAS doesn't cover. I mean, that's its function in, in that way. Um, and also we have the British Library, which is 10 minutes away, walking distance, um, which again um, can be used freely uh, by, by general public. So in that sense, SOAS is um, in every way a research powerhouse with, with the facilities, research facilities that they, it, it offers. Um, that SOAS was founded as a graduate level institution uh, constitutes, uh, again, to shape who we are, um, what we do, um, not only at the school level, but also at the program um, level. So unlike uh, many other institutions in the UK, SOAS um, started with undergraduate, uh, well, I mean, the, the other institutions that started with undergraduate uh, teaching and then added um, graduate level programs. Um, Postgraduate study um, is and has always been at the center um, uh, for, of all teaching um, here at SOAS and continues to be so um, to this day. Um, currently, um, uh, there are um, more than um, 100 programs um, uh, in, uh, it, across the school, um, and um, uh, even uh, more than that, I think um, um, uh, about 200 or so in degree combinations um, in, across the school, you, you can uh, bring these um, uh, degrees together. Um, these um, give you the opportunity, these programs um, give you the opportunity to study a subject in greater depth, um, but also um, uh, combining rigorous training in history, um, and historical me methods at the same time. And I'll, I'll talk about uh, this in, in, in a few minutes, but this is done uh, specifically uh, through uh, uh, our compulsory module within the program, Debating Past and Crafting Histories. It's a year long um, seminar that provides this rigorous uh, training um, in history that, that I just mentioned. But uh, besides that, um, these programs and program combinations also allow uh, you, allow students to bring together other things, um, most uh, notably languages, um, which again, SOAS um, has been historically famous uh, for, and the part of the early uh, training um, was, was to provide language training specifically um, in, at, at, the, uh, at the institution. Um, these languages can uh, be uh, studied as part of a degree, uh, like uh, MA history and uh, intensive languages, um, in support, in connection um, with, um, with your coursework. Uh, but you can um, um, also um, 
uh, uh, study languages as, as part of um, your um, selective elective course um, uh, courses or open option courses um, along with, uh, with your taught modules. You can also bring together interdisciplinary um, and interregional expertise. And I'll, I'll talk a little bit about this when I talk about the module options and uh, program structure uh, in, in a few minutes. Um, so what makes SOAS a special place um, is also its emphasis in engaging with larger issues in the world uh, today. And this, is, um, this applies to history department as well as SOAS as a whole in other departments um, too. Um, SOAS scholars, including SOAS historians, work on a wide range of pressing issues, displacement, poverty, inequalities, um, environment, race, uh, among um, um, many um, other um, things. And so for us, it, which is really important to underline uh, perhaps, um, history is not something that happened and neatly ended in the past, um, but something that is um, continuing and continues to shape um, the world that we live in today. And this is something, again, um, that we um, um, like to emphasize um, when it comes to um, understanding what's special, what's important with the program and so on um, in general. So, um, in accordance with this, I mean, in accordance with this effort um, to, to engage with the, uh, with the present day um, and uh, pressing issues in our world today, um, our graduates, to say just uh, one um, um, uh, little thing about that, our graduates um, move on to PhD programs here in the UK, um, the US or elsewhere uh, in the world. Um, to, to pursue academic careers, but also um, my sense is increasingly so um, to a variety of uh, governmental and intergovernmental organizations, as well as NGOs to pursue uh, careers in policy related areas as well. And that's something that history allows you to do, just equips you with that kind of um, research skills and other kind of transferable skills that, as they're called. Um, so in that sense, um, um, any research focus, research intensive area, um, not only in academia, but also in, in those institutions that I just mentioned, um, uh, history would be a good field to, to, um, to get that kind of training um, uh, uh, to, to, to pursue later on. So um, this is... Um, a, very concise introduction um, or background for SOAS um, and for the programs that we offer. And let me now move on to uh, more specifically about the, uh, the programs uh, themselves um, and um, take a closer look on what we expect you to do, what you can expect uh, from, from, uh, from these programs. So there are currently, as you may know this already from, from the website, there are currently two um, MA um, programs that we offer in the department. And the first of these is uh, the MA history program. Um, and um, when undertaken um, in, uh, in full-time mode, um, MA history uh, uh, program is, um, um, a one-year uh, program that consists of um, 180 um, credits, and let me go back, and 120 um, of these 180 credits are taught courses, and 60 uh, credits would be your dissertation that you write at the end of the uh, end of the year. Um, we have um, um, we have a course uh, that is a compulsory uh, module, debating paths that I just actually mentioned a, a few minutes ago, um, which um, is um, the methodology seminar 
Um, and it serves as a year long seminar, meets two to three um, hours per week. Um, and in many ways, um, serves as uh, the main hub for the MA history uh, uh, cohort. It didn't work that way, unfortunately, last year, and it's uh, meeting uh, partly on campus this year, so it's, it is uh, gradually resuming that function, but it really brings together the entire cohort where you exchange ideas and, and experiences, so on and so forth, which you need. Um, as, as you conduct research and start, especially um, start writing um, your dissertation. So um, that's the function of the uh, core module, compulsory module, debating past and crafting um, histories. So that would be part of uh, the, the taught modules. And in addition to um, uh, the uh, debating past, the compulsory module, um, you will have to complete another 90 credits, which um, you can uh, choose um, from a list of uh, modules in offer, uh, offered by the history department or other departments uh, from um, across the school. And I mentioned that some of uh, these modules, uh, some of these options are um, fairly new and not reflected on the website. And uh, this is uh, more of a full list um, that um, um, you will be able to choose from. Um, on the left-hand side, you have a list A, meaning that uh, these modules are offered by the history department itself. And um, several of them um, you can see on the race, race and slavery in the Middle East and Africa, formations of the colonial in the Middle East um, are new modules uh, that will be added to the um, program structure on the website um, shortly. It also module descriptions and other details that you can find um, online. On the right hand side, um, you can see list B. Um, these are modules offered by other departments, but um, of a strictly historical nature. Um, so they can they, they will complement uh, your, your study of history um, at, um, um, at here at SOAS. Um, so the, the full list is a bit longer than this. Um, this is what I could fit in uh, in one page. But as I said, I mean, everything will be up to date um, in, in the coming weeks. Um, so you'll, you'll have a chance to go through the course uh, descriptions as well as the up up-to-date uh, program structure uh, as well. Um, apart from uh, these list A and B modules, um, here you can see um, the, the, the composition um, um, of, of, of these uh, credits, required credits, which is up-to-date on the program website, uh, by the way. You can uh, go, go to the program website and check um, at the very bottom of the structure and the, the, uh, check the uh, program grid and you'll, you'll get that composition uh, in detail um, as a separate file um, that um, that uh, bit is, is up to date. Um, apart from um, uh, list A and B um, uh, modules that you can uh, use, choose from, um, you have uh, what are called open option uh, modules. And these are uh, modules uh, offered by um, other departments that are not necessarily historical in nature. Um, basically, it includes all MA level uh, courses offered throughout the school. And the list is very long, um, uh, but I have put here, um, just chosen and uh, added here a few of these uh, modules, just to give you an idea what you can um, bring in uh, to your uh, studies. Um, you can see uh, from politics, from development studies, arts, music, media uh, studies, law, uh, and practically all other um, uh, departments have uh, those options um, on offer you can uh, choose from. And you are free to choose um, up to two modules uh, 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 
that you can uh, combine with your um, history uh, modules um, uh, as you study uh, here. And uh, those open option uh, modules can also be language modules. Again, there's a wide variety of languages that you can choose from um, uh, here um, at SOAS. And um, let me uh, quickly move. Speaking of languages, um, this brings me to the second uh, uh, program, uh, MA program that we offer um, that's based uh, at the history department, and that's um, history and intensive language program. Again, a similar um, uh, list of requirements you can see uh, on the screen. It's uh, credit wise, um, it's um, the, the same structure as the MA history program, um, added uh, intensive language units, which is, um, uh, which is about, I think, 135 um, uh, credits. It's a two year program. The first year um, you would have, again, similarly um, uh, to, similar to the uh, MA history program, uh, you'd have debating past crafting histories for 30 credits. Um, and um, uh, regional and thematic courses. And then uh, you'd have six, another 60 credit of the language uh, study, intensive language study at SOAS. Um, the languages on offer have had to be limited in the past two years due to uh, COVID related restrictions. Um, we had Arabic, Japanese, Korean, um, uh, Swahili, if I'm not mistaken, Persian, Turkish, and um, there may be an expansion of the uh, languages um, that are offered in, uh, in the coming year. Um, these um, will be updated as we go along. Um, and please do not hesitate to just drop me an email, um, letting, you know, uh, checking with me um, about the status of the language that, that you're interested in uh, if, if it's not on, on the list that you see on the website. And I'd be happy to discuss uh, the you know, provide information to also discuss uh, with you um, the um, the options. Um, the uh, MA History and Intensive Program um, has a summer abroad um, language study component where you normally go abroad to an affiliated institution um, to um, to do intensive continued intensive language study um, over. The the summer, and then you come back, uh, continue uh, with another uh, 30 credits of uh, language study, and then complete the regional and thematic courses, history or open option modules in the second year, and um, write the dissertation and uh, complete uh, the uh, degree. This is what the uh, structure looks like. Again, this is um, up to date on the uh, uh, program website. You can just um, follow the links uh, to the program grid at the bottom of the structure page and um, check out the uh, credit requirements um, to, to, for, for completion of the program uh, uh, here. Um, and um, just to, to say, man, I've been mentioning the dissertation um, uh, for both of these programs that we offer in passing, but let me say a few things about uh, it as well, uh, mainly because it is um, the uh, most um, important component in every way for both of these uh, programs. It is, it's it's worth uh, 60 uh, credits to begin with. That's 25% uh, of, um, of, of your overall mark um, uh, that you graduate with. Um, but also, um, um, it takes up a um, significant amount of your time and energy in terms of conducting research, in terms of writing, um, it throughout your time, during your time uh, here at SOAS. In that sense, it's the centerpiece of both um, of these uh, programs. Um, that said, I mean, it's, it requires a lot of time and energy um, um, 
uh, for uh, for your time. I mean, during your time here, but it's also uh, the most um, enjoyable and most rewarding um, element uh, within. Uh, I mean, both of these uh, programs. This is an opportunity for you. Um, to conduct your own research on a topic that you're interested, you care about, and um, also um, write history yourself and make a genuine contribution to our historical knowledge, as many of our students actually do. Some of them, um, as I said, continue uh, with, um, with, with academic work and others continue with, uh, with again, research related areas but they um, do uh, take away uh, from, from their dissertation um, the, the kind of research that they, uh, they conduct, uh, carry out for the entire year and writing, that, um, managing that kind of uh, project um, um, as well. So, I mean, it's really uh, the end goal of the program uh, in general. Um, but uh, very um, intellectually rewarding and enriching um, exercise in um, every way. Um, so I will just um, stop here. Um, thank you very much for your attention. And, and I guess we can just move uh, from here uh, to your questions about the program, about my presentation, about any um, other detail that you can um, think of. And let me, um, sorry, uh, move on uh, here. Um, on the screen, you can see my name and my uh, email address as well. Please feel free to uh, drop me a line if you, you know, think of anything that you, you know, that that you that you forgot to mention in this meeting. But also, anything that comes up later on uh, as well. Any questions, you can, you know, please feel free to type your questions in the chat box, but also um, you can just turn in your microphone and, um, and um, talk as well. Oh, hello. 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 Hi. Hello, Sanyukta. Uh, hi, Sita. Uh, just a quick question. Um, you know, you showed us the list of modules uh, and you said they are like more up to date mm -hmm. and they will be in the website sometimes. Yeah. Do you know like uh, when uh, they will be on the website? Uh, I didn't pick a screen grab, sorry, but uh, you know, just wanted to know. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm not entirely sure. Um, it's I know that uh, a team is working on it. it it's um, uh, there's substantial changes to the website too. I mean, that's the re that's one of the reasons that uh, this there is a delay in in um, updating this information. But I expect it will be done in in the couple uh, in in the in the next few weeks or so, um, or maybe a month. But um, um, but as I said, I mean the the, um, the work that they're undertaking is is a bit more substantial than usual, so that's the reason that uh, the, to the delay. But I'd be happy to send you. Um, I mean, if if anyone is interested and you sign it as well, you just send me an email, and I'd be happy to share you share with you the um, up to date list of modules. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Let me see, there is. Um, Shruti has a question. Uh, yeah. Uh, Shruti asks I wanted to know about the admission criteria for the postgraduate um, course in history. Um, do we uh, have to get an entrance? Um, uh, when you say, do we have to give an entrance, it, it, do you mean an exam? Um, Okay, there is no exam uh, as such. Um, there is a minimum um, grade um, average requirement, which is, um, uh, I think, 
second, I would say uh, 50s um, or so. Um, but I mean, you can um, uh, you can check the main uh, history uh, program page, um, and then um, so as pages for conversion. I mean, that, that may not indicate anything. It may not look like anything um, from uh, from the when compared to the grading structures and criteria um, in, in your own institution, um, but um, that you can convert it uh, easily um, through using charts. And I'd be happy to uh, provide that information to you. So to, to, as a short answer to your question, um, there are set criterias, but there aren't any um, uh, exams or of, of any sort um, uh, for that. And even uh, entry requirements, um, there's quite a bit of flexibility there. If you have a project, and if you um, if you tell us about it in your uh, statement letter, um, and if you're enthusiastic about it, you can always um, review, revise that criteria too. There's a flexibility there, and not so much, but there's some flexibility there, um, absolutely. I don't know. I mean, uh, um, Mike, Lars, do you have anything to add? Well, I always have things to add, but it's the uh, uh, the, the beauty of the MA program, of course, is the um, uh, is is that you are. Oh, I guess I, I can just see the uh, should yes something else. Uh, a specific grade is required from graduation. Uh, yes, that's true. That's the uh, and the, um, the the grade is set. PhD application, okay. Uh, um, le le let me just finish my line of thought before I get back mm -hmm. to the PhDs because that that's mm -hmm. of course another uh, area that's of great interest. Um, so uh, the the beauty of the P uh, the MA program is the uh, is the breadth because you have uh, you can really go to any region in the world and then also go beyond uh, the, um, the, the 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 actual thematic range of that MA uh, and um, explore and you have a dissertation that you write and in this dissertation you can follow your own interests so if you're interested in your uh, say your own community uh, you can do that you can write on that but uh, on, building on the, uh, the the more general background that you have um, accumulated during your course if you want to do something um, interregional transregional then you can also do that it's it's a bit more ambitious but um, it's definitely something that you could do for example um, the uh, connections between india and china that that's um, uh, one thing that um, uh, I, I uh, often, not often, but sometimes very successfully uh, uh, actually bring to a conclusion. And uh, the, the, the uh, dissertations are really amazing. Um, the the um, uh, the other thing I wanted to say is actually ties in with the question about um, the PhD. Um, it is a we're dealing with taught courses, but we also want you to experience the uh, uh, the, the what, what uh, Jada referred to as the um, uh, you know the opportunities that the SOAS library gives, uh, namely that we have an archive, and this archive is something that uh, you will find is. Um, second only to the British uh, Library probably um, and the collections in queue so it's uh, it's very um, uh, you have a great range of um, uh, of uh, items that are um, either related to the the missionary archives that you find and you don't they're not just dealing with um, a, a Christian mission topics uh, that, that you know you find out a lot about uh, um, hospitals the early hospitals in india early hospitals in africa or in uh, east asia uh, that the that the missionaries built as part of them uh, their project uh, and the same about trade the same about diplomatic uh, uh, well complications that uh, arise uh, so uh, this is a um, a very important stepping stone if you're interested in academic research as a, a career Great, thank you very much, Lars. I mean, um, and thank you, Laura, uh, too, uh, for that information that you put on the chat box. Um, so, surety. So, in that, to, to to sum up, I mean, you don't really need an exam, but you, you well, you you will um, have to 
um, uh, obtain a certain average and um, colleagues in the admissions uh, 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 division can help you with, with the uh, details, with, with conversions um, as well. Um, and to go back to Sonam's question about uh, the PhD application, um, and thank you very much, Mike, uh, for, to, to, for putting that information in the chat box. Um, did, I mean, absolutely, to, to, to repeat what Mike says here, um, you can write, I mean, I, I would recommend that you write, get in touch with your um, uh, uh, potential supervisors. I mean, the, at the PhD level, you work really closely with your supervisor and it's good to be on the same page uh, with, with them uh, before you place your application um, too. So it's, it's always good to get in touch before, um, before applying to the program. Um, and tell them what your project is about, what your interests are, um, what your um, technical capabilities are also. I mean, if, by that I mean specifically language, um, uh, 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 knowledge of the language um, uh, for, that you will use for your research. Um, so yeah, absolutely. It's just, you can drop your potential supervisors a line and, um, and, and, ask their opinion or just introduce yourself. Um, Sonam uh, continues with the good, uh, uh, what kind of references do you require um, uh, for PhD application? Um, do both need an academic or can one be professional? Um, if it really depends, um, I would say mostly academic, but um, if let's say uh, you have a background in a certain topic, let's say in in development studies, um, working on uh, um, uh, cert developing certain projects in the field, and um, if you have someone uh, that would write that academic letter for you, um, but attesting to your um, practical capabilities, I think that would also be an important asset. So it depends um, who uh, will write for you, but anything that supports your project, what you aim to do um, in, the, uh, in the PhD program um, would be a good support um, of, um, uh, of your application, absolutely. Um, And yeah, I mean, this, the second quest, second part of your question, and uh, Mike answers uh, this, um, absolutely. I mean, that's, that's um, I mean, uh, not a problem or criteria at all. Often actually it, it works quite the contrary. I mean, it, it, the mature students come in with a very clear idea of what they want to do that can be really advantageous in every way. So, uh, so yeah, I mean, that's, uh, that is um, that is not a criteria uh, anyway. Just to add um, to what everybody's already said, if you go onto our website, um, onto our PhD pages and scroll to the very, very bottom, we have a whole section dedicated to references that just reiterates everything that's been said today and can guide you through that part and some of the general criteria. Um, that we have in terms of PhD references. I popped a little link in the chat, but all you need to do is scroll to the very, very bottom. And then we have tabs that just go through each stage of the process because it can be a little bit different from um, our masters. Excellent, thank you, Laura. I think if there's no more questions, unfortunately, we might have to um, wrap up because the final session of the Open Day um, is about to start at one o'clock. Mm -hmm. um, just uh, to repeat, uh, here you can see on the screen my, uh, my email address. Please feel free to drop me a line if any other questions you can think of um, later on as, as we go along. Okay, well, thank you all for joining in. Thanks everybody. Thank you, Laura. <laughs>